what is up you guys I'm back to another YouTube video and um it's been a while but um today I'm going to be doing a uh tutorial for unturned users who want to learn how to mod and making shirts and pants are the beginning to modding for unturned so I'm going to be showing you all how to do it um my friend made these textures for me it's easy to make textures um you can just search a video of it on YouTube or something, but um, if y'all want a tutorial for that, then I can show y'all. It's really simple. But um, I want to be showing y'all how to do bottoms and tops. Um, so today I want to start with this. So what you want to do is you want to get Unity, but you want to use Unity. Um, what is it? Uh, it's Unity. Uh, 5.5 it's this unity right here I will put it into the description below so that y'all can go download it if y'all don't have it already but you will need that unity and that unity only um, but other than that you are good to make shirts so um, you also need the game of course but uh, you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go to your unturned files if you want to do it the easy way, you could just go to library, unturned, properties, local files, and browse local files. But since I'm a modder, I um, have it pinned right here. So you want to go here. You want to go to bundles. Actually, wait first. Inside of Unity, you want to go to create folder. Um, let me turn off my video capture real quick. Okay. Uh, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to create a new folder. You're going to want to name it Assets and then you are go to that and then create another folder Name it Bundler So whenever you got that um, You're going to want to go into the files here. You're going to want to go to Whenever you're in unturned you go to bundles sources tools Grab the bundle tool drag it into Bundler and then you go back the examples and then we're going to be doing the shirt first so you want to find the shirt unity example so right here right under scope and above site the so jack shirt right there and then import all um and now what you want to do is drag these into there but now after you did that you want to go into here stay inside of this folder open up another folder go to wherever you set your thing to save mines and documents and then um, find your thing minus tutorial shirt and then you want to go to project settings see tag manager right here tag manager right here you want to uh, copy and paste it and then you want to replace that old tag manager the tags help the game notice that it's a shirt so now whenever you're in here you want to go to this main assets folder right here where you have assets and bundler to go into assets game so sources models items shirts and then you got this right here and you also want to make sure you're inside this little cube thing in the middle and then in the y which is the green and then you want to drag that right there and then zoom in as much as you can until it disappears there we go and then you go to resources right here bundles items shirts hoodie orange and then you drag item right there and now, um, what you want to do is you want to, you see these two things. You're going to want to remember the name for that and the name for this. These are the two things that are going to help you here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the folder again, and then I'm going to drag this shirt in. So you see how these are like this? You, you want to make sure you make this look exactly like that over here in the inspector. So default 2D. Default 2D, check, keep that, so keep that same, that the same, check that, keep that the same, check that, that the same, check, check, uncheck, keep that, or yeah, keep that same, keep that same, keep that same, and then so, mainly you just want to go clamp and then point no filter, and then apply. So now you'll see down here that it's transparent. So now what you want to do is you want to delete the shirt texture. And then you want to delete the material texture. And then you want to rename this to shirt. 
and then you're going to want to drag that onto there. So now you see that that, that has your texture on it now. And then you're going to want to do the same to this one right here. Make sure that it gets on there. If it doesn't, that's obviously fine, but I recommend getting it on there. So I'm going to try to get it on there as good as I can. Nope, can't. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if that has the texture on it or not. That's just the model zero, which is not really needed at all. This is the main thing that you want. So you're going to want to drag, you're going to want to delete this one first. Delete and then drag item into there. And then you see inside this folder, you're going to want to, if you don't remember how to spell materials or material, you're going to want to copy that. Then you're going to come in here, drag this to hoodie orange and delete that folder. And then right here, you want to rename it to material. There you go. And now that's how you got your shirt. And now right here, you want to drag model zero into there. So now you have that. You have two different model zeros and then this is the main one that you want to have in here right here which is up here so now what you want to do is you want to go back to this main assets folder where everything is where the assets and bundler is then you're running gonna you're gonna want to click don't go in but click go to window and then bundle tool and then grab and then if you don't see it see this it's be like if you don't see the bundle assets thing it's because your window's too small or something like if you just see like grab or something I don't know but you want to make sure your thing is big enough where you can bundle the assets and then you're gonna want to go to wherever you want to put your thing and then uh, yeah you want to do this Underscore. Oh, there you go and now you have that part so now you have made a shirt now what you'll want to do after your bundled assets there you go you're gonna want to go back inside this assets folder and then delete these two things because those are the shirts. We don't want the shirts in here. We want to get pants now. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to unturned, the unturned uh, files, bundles. Um, and then you're going to want to go to sources. And then examples. And then pants or pants. Yeah, pants is right, right under object and right above physics. So drag pants right there. And then select all import and it will pop up out of here where the bundle and assets is then you'll just want to drag it in like you did the first time so now it's just exactly the same you open up the same files and everything drag that right there resources bundles items pants jeans work and then drag that right there and then delete those two and then go to your desktop or wherever you save the bottoms and then drag it right there and then just do this and if you need to if you need to get this down just pause at any time so you can get to where I am and then you put that there and that there there you go see now it popped up there we go that's what we wanted and now delete that item drag that item in there and then rename this to uh, pants not shirt pants because now it's pants, you want to have it as that. And then materials, you want to drag that into there. Delete that. I don't know if that's necessary, but that's how I do it just to be safe. Material. You want to make sure everything is spelled correctly. So you don't mess it up. Okay, so now we got the pants done. So now go back to the main assets folder where assets and bundler are. And then you're going to do the same bundle tool, grab bundle assets. Bottom. There we go. Now you got that done. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag these over here away from everything else. And then you're going to want to go into, you're going to want to get a folder. So what you can do is you can go to unturn files again, bundles, um, items and then a pant or pants or shirt so just over one but since I already have my own in here I'm just gonna copy one of these I'm gonna copy the troop because that's where I last stopped I think no it was the bottom so I don't know but let me check real quick 
Yeah, okay, yeah. You don't want you want to make sure that you're not clashing with any IDs. That's why I'm opening up these old ones. Then I'm making an AGK5 pack. Couldn't tell already. Um, so I'm gonna copy the trooper top and then paste it. And then you're gonna always want to make sure that the name of the um, of this. So rename it to copy it easier. You're always gonna want to make sure the name of the Unity 3D is always the same name as the, um, what's it called, the folder. And also the same goes with um, the .dat, but keep the English .dat the same. And then drag that right there. Now we're going to edit that. 7 and then, so 8, this would be 8 for me. You're gonna to want to give it a unique ID if you if you don't want it to clash with anyone else in the Ontario community. You could always just go inside of browse the workshop and then search up an ID. But what I do is I don't care if I clash with other people that don't have newer mods. See, look, this is my mod right here, and I'm adding on to that, so it doesn't matter. But you're always gonna to want to make sure that um, everything's different. Um, and then 18008 right there. This is for crafting, by the way. You don't have to have that if you don't want to, but I'm gonna do. And also make sure it's always going to be a shirt if you're doing a top. Um, and then for bottoms, uh, bottoms for copy base. And then rename Control C. Rename Control V and drag that into page two bottom, and then delete that. And rename Control V. There we go. Uh, did it with Notepad plus plus. Oh yeah, you're all you're also gonna want Notepad plus plus, but um, yeah, I'll link that in the description also. So eight. This one's gonna be nine. You're also going to want to edit the English DAT, but I'm not doing that right now because I am trying to decently. And also, just to keep it organized, I like to have the underscores. And so now you're going to want to go to the English DATs. Saved that, I believe. I saved that. I said it okay. So, English, this is going to be, um, beige, two bottoms. You can give it whatever you want, but for that, I'm just going to do that. And now, I'm going to go and go back to the tops, page top, and then English. There. And then, control C, control V, and then set of bottoms. Shirt. Um, and then, beige. Base items. Standard beige suit shirt. And then control S and control S. There we go. So now you are done. Um now all you need to do is basically drag this into the unturned folder of shirts. So you would drag that or copy it and put it in there. But I'm not going to do that because, um, yeah, y'all will get the idea. And then you'll just have to go in game and do slash give and then the ID that you put it as. But I, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys in the next video, possibly. <laughs>